Good evening everyone. Today we are going to see a functional analysis theorem that is Reese Fisher's theorem and it states that u1, u2, dot dot etc are orthogonal set and alpha1, alpha2, etc, alpha n are any scalars then the following are equivalent. First thing. There exists x element of H. H is here Hilbert space such that for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Inner product of x, comma un is equal to alpha n. What is alpha n here? Alpha n are any scalar. And the summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity mod of alpha n whole square is less than infinity. It means that this term this term is finite and the summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha and un which is a kind of a series in h and it, we have to show that it converges in h we have to say we have to prove that these statements are equivalent equivalent it means that 1 implies 2 2 implies 3 and 3 implies 1 so let's get started with the proof the proof is quite easy So let us assume, let us assume proof. Let us assume that one is true, which means that we consider that this statement is true now and we will try to prove that this statement is also true according to this means that we have assumed that statement 1 is correct and we will try to prove that the statement 2 is also correct now so let us state that absolute value of x comma un which is equal to absolute value of alpha n there is no doubt in this because this is quite simple now what we will do we will take the square we will take the square that is alpha, inner product of alpha u and this whole square and this whole square now let us what we should do in both of the hand we, in both of the side we will take the summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity this is, this is in sequence we got we, we have assumed that 1 is correct that means that inner product of x comma u n is equal to alpha n. So what we did is that we take the inner product man, absolute value of the inner product which will be obvious and again taking the square which again will be obvious then taking the summation taking this summation n is equal to 1 to infinity will get x comma u n is equal to alpha n of square. Now, we already know the basis inequality. What our basis inequality says? Basis inequality. Our basis inequality says that if u1 if u1 u2 u n are orthogonal set in a Hilbert space h then there exists x element of h any element such that summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity in a product of x and u n square is always less than the mod of x square now this x is the element of h this x is the element of h and we know that we know that we know that the norm of x square will be finite in Hilbert space thus we can say that 
thus we can easily say that this side it is less than norm of x square so alpha m square sorry here is less or equal to alpha x square now we know that this x is the element of h so this will be a finite quantity this will be a finite quantity thus we can say that alpha n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha n whole square is less than infinity now Similarly, if we go for equation 2, we will assume here that our equation 2 is correct and we will check out that equation 3 is correct or not. So, we will assume that now we will assume, let us assume correct and what was 2 the 2 was the equation 2 was that summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity mod of alpha n square is less than infinity and what we have to prove we have to prove that it means that 2 implies 3 now we have to prove that there exists a sequence that is summation of alpha n u n n is equal to 1 to infinity converges in H. What is H here? H is a Hilbert space. So, what we will do that we will take any sequence, we will take any sequence, let us take any sequence Xn. We will take any sequence Xn which is the element of H xn is a sequence which is element to h and xn can be represented as summation of j is equal to 1 to n alpha j uj so the question is that why how xn can be represented as alpha j uj UJs are orthonormal set and they are also independent. So, the linear combination of all the orthonormal set will give us a sequence that is Xn. This Xn is present in H we already stated. Now, we need to show that any of the sequence what we take, it converges in H. So, to prove that Xn converges, we need to prove that xn is a Cauchy sequence because we need to prove that xn is a Cauchy sequence. Now the question is why we need to prove that xn is a Cauchy sequence? We need to prove xn is a Cauchy sequence because we know that every Cauchy sequence is conversion. If it converges, it means that it is present in H only. Why? Because H is a complete space. H is complete. Hilbert space is a complete space. If we show that Xn is a Cauchy sequence, it means that it converges. And where it will converge? It will converge in H. So, Xn is a sequence. We need to prove that it is a Cauchy. Cauchy sequence always get conversion. And we know that H is a complete space. So, X will also belong to H. So, we need to prove that Xn is a Cauchy sequence and let us assume that, let us assume N is greater than M and now we have tried to find out that mod of Xn minus Xn whole square is equal to, we already represented Xn like this, so minus j is equal to 1 to m that is alpha j u j. Now this will be very obvious uh, if we 
this will be very obvious how to prove that that alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 dot 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 alpha q um, sorry alpha m u m plus dot 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 plus alpha m u m and there here it will be alpha m plus 1 u m so if you subtract it so we'll get it we'll get something like this J will start from M plus 1 to N alpha J UJ. This is a basic simple calculation that you can do. And now we know that this can be represented as the inner product of J is equal to M plus 1 N alpha J UJ plus sorry alpha J UJ J is equal to M plus 1 to N now applying the basic of um, inner product we can take out these one this will be similar to j1 n plus 1 n alpha j square and inner product of uj comma uj we know that what we know that u1 u2 etc un are orthogonal set thus it will be equal to 1 and we will directly get we will get this will be equal to summation of j is equal to m plus 1 to n alpha j squared now we need to show that this converges to 0 to show that this converges to 0 let us take that any sequence let s1 be a sequence s1 be a term then this will be equal to if we take put 1 let this will be alpha 1 whole square then s2 will be equal to alpha 1 whole square plus alpha 2 whole square like this it will go to sn which equals to alpha 1 whole square plus alpha 2 whole square minus sm will pretty obvious tends to 0 because what we know that if we take this this will be any finite quantity and similarly sm will be any finite quantity so the subtraction will always tend us to 0 so we know that this sequence this sequence is a coach this sorry sm is a Cauchy sequence that's why SN minus SM tends to 0 when n comma m tends to infinity so we can easily say that this tends to 0 and XN is a Cauchy sequence so now XN is a Cauchy sequence it means that XN is a conversion sequence and it will converge to a point x and this x is the element of h because h is a complete space now we already proved that 2 implies 3 now we need to prove that 3 implies 1 we will prove that 3 implies 1 so what was our first statement our first statement was there exists x in the element of h such that for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. x comma un is equal to alpha n. And what was this was the first statement and the third statement is that summation n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha n un converges in H. So we already know that alpha and un converges in H. So let us take that 
x is the limit point limit in h so summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha and u n is equal to x now taking inner product with u m taking inner product with u m inner product of x u m will be equal to inner product of summation n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha n u m comma u m we will get what we will get now let's see we can write this like that alpha 1 u m plus alpha 2 u 2 plus dot plus alpha n u alpha m u m plus dot 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 which is comma equal to u m so now we have to take the inner product with this so it's pretty obvious that we'll get this alpha 1 inner product of u 1 comma u m plus alpha 2 inner product of u 2 comma u m plus dot 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 plus alpha m u m comma u m plus other term now we already know that this is the set of orthogonal this is set is orthonormal so this all will tend to zero this all will tend to zero and we'll only get alpha m is equal to u m comma u m and the inner product of u m comma u m is equal to 1 and that is is equal to alpha m which is we can write alpha x inner product of x u m is equal to alpha m and here's the result proof so this was Ruiz Fisher's theorem hope you like it subscribe my channel thank you